Hello and welcome to this review of the Bang & Olsen H10 headphones comparing them to the flagship headphones by Apple, the AirPods Max. The AirPods have been around for quite a while whereas the H10 headphones by Bang & Olsen were just released a couple of weeks ago. Straight out of the box, the first thing I noticed with the headphones, the AirPods, is that they're very heavy and at 385 grams they were significantly heavier than the headphones of VNO or any other headphones I've actually used lately. And at 550 pounds, I must say that uh, Apple did a poor job at designing the smart case, which we won't be discussing this time, as it's not worth it. Other than the smart case and the headphones, uh, the box is kind of empty. There's not much in it, except for the plasticky thing around the ear cups. And as you'd expect, Apple has removed the charger from the box. And the only thing they provide you with is a lightning to USB-C cable and nothing else, which is expected of Apple at this point. So for anyone that would like to have a jack, then you'd need to pay £35 extra and buy a, an official one from Apple. The headphones themselves look like an Apple product, expensive looking and with a metallic finish. I must say they look much nicer than the pictures I've seen online. The mesh at the top, Apple claims, will keep the, will spread the weight of the headphones around your head. The telescopic arms, I must say, are cool and they keep the pressure of the cups around your ear and make your headphones sound very nice. The cups themselves are detachable and you could actually go and buy as many as you want from Apple for £75 each. Other than that, the, there's not many buttons on the AirPods. You have one noise cancelling button slash transparency button on the right and a crown similar to the Apple Watch one that I must say is one of my favorite features in the Apple AirPods. It sounds nice and using them uh, gives you this nice feel to changing the volume. The AirPods have 20 hours of battery life as Apple claims and can be charged in 1.5 hours. Uh, the sound, I must say, is one of the best I've heard in headphones. The noise cancellation also was way better than any of the other headphones I've used, and the transparency mode was great. So I'll keep it to that for now, and we'll move on to the Bang & Olsen headphones to see how the other one compares. Moving on to the H10 headphones, the second you open the box, you notice that Bang & Olsen gives you more stuff for your money at 450 pounds 100 pounds cheaper than apple's headphones uh, the case looks more impressive and when you unzip it you get the h10 headphones unpacked right there uh, they look great and they feel great and they just weigh 280 grams 105 grams less than than the apple ones other than that in the box there's not much more except for two cables a charging cable USB-C to USB and another one which is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that actually doesn't come with the Apple one so for a hundred pounds less you're getting one extra cable and the same amount of stuff the headphones themselves look very different from the Apple ones Apple went with a more Apple look minimalistic look whereas B&O went for the traditional B&O look with the metal finish on the sides the right one is actually a touch surface by swiping right or left you can change the volume or the music on the right a cup you have a pairing button and on the left you have a noise cancelling and a, a button to answer phone calls uh, other than that the headphones look quite decent they look solid they look well built and the telescopic arms are not as nice as the apple ones but they're still decent and do the job i must say that i prefer the feel of them on my head however i must say that the cups are a bit smaller than the apple ones so after a while of usage you can feel the pressure of the cups on your ear and your ears might start to hurt so keep an eye out on that in general uh, the battery will last for around 35 hours compared to the 20 hours of apple sound wise and noise cancellation i must say apple takes the throne there and they've done a way better job than b and o at controlling noise cancellation and transparency in the end, I must say that both headphones are great. My preferred choice would be the B&O H10 headphones as they are a bit lighter, a hundred pounds cheaper, and they do the job on a day-to-day. -day. However, I must commend Apple on a great job on delivering really good headphones with great sound and terrific noise cancellation. Uh, it's not the thing I'm looking for in my headphones, but if you were looking for that, then they're a great set of headphones. 
but maybe wait for v2 in a couple of years where all the problems that we discussed in this video would be solved. Thank you for listening. See you next time and please subscribe for more tech reviews in the future.